early birthday for you, um, getting in the end zone. Um, how does it feel? I know it was a tight one out there today. Uh, for me, it was a roller coaster, but uh, thankful for these guys in this locker room to keep my head up, keep me up, and um, coach as well. You know, he's like, hey, we're going to come back to you, keep your head up, and it's the most important time, so uh, just I'm really thankful to be here. Thankful for my teammates uh, and my coaches for lifting me up even when I'm down. They they keep my head up uh, on the sideline. They never they never lose confidence in me. They never falter, and then they're, they're always there to lift me up. You're harder on yourself, and when they sat you, what did what were you thinking at that point? Uh, just be there for my teammates. Um, be the biggest cheerleader I can be. Uh, let them know what I'm seeing on the field, and when the opportunity presents itself, go make a play. You've never really been a guy that's fumbled much. I mean, what do you think is going on there? I uh, don't know. I just got to go back and look at the film. I can't make any excuses. Uh, that's not me. I can't make an excuse. Go back and look at the film. Um, but I got to be better. I talked with uh, Coach Maude, and he said, uh, we'll figure it out what's going on. We'll correct it. But uh, it's even more frustrating because, like you said, that's not, that's not me. And it's happening more than I liked recently. So, um, But we'll get, I'll get that fixed. Oh, 100 percent. Sam threw a dime. Uh, it was in my hands. I feel like when I was pulling it in to uh, going to the ground is when I bobbled it and lost track of it. But uh, even when I ran off then, uh, KO was like, hey, we're coming right back to you. And so it, that just means a lot. You know, when things aren't going your way, uh, say this was this wasn't my best day. It wasn't my day pre, uh, probably. But uh, when you got, like I said, a group of guys around you who believe in you, um, they're, they're going to stick with you. Were you surprised that he did say that? He's coming back to you that quick? Like, there's no even a hesitation that they're going to use you still? Um, not really. He's, he tells me he's, never, he's, he's always believed in me. He always has confidence in me. So uh, it just echoed it there even more. Um, and just, you know, lifts, it lifts you up a little bit when things aren't going your way. Like, hey, we're coming back to you. Stay ready. So um, it lifts you up and lets you know, hey, I got I to gotta be on my P's and Q's. Uh, good teams find a way to win, um, no matter if it's pretty, no matter if it's, uh, it's close, a blowout, how, however um, it happens, good teams find a way to win. Um, good teams are resilient, and uh, you have a good team in this locker room, and we'll, we'll put it together, though. Yeah, what did you think of Sam's performance on that last drive, leading you off to that touchdown? Sam's a baller. I mean, he's, he's shown it week in, week out, everything that you need to see to check, a bo uh, check any boxes, uh, any questions that anybody still has on him. I, I feel like he's he's shown it out there, uh, especially in clutch moments last week, this week as well. Uh, when you got to have it, he goes down there and marches us, marches us down there, leads the team. Um, and like I said, it was no, it was never any um, disbelief that we wouldn't get it done. Aaron, what did it feel like? What did it feel like to get in the end zone there? And then just, you know, do you feel like that sort of gave the defense the the spark it needed to dig deep again and make one final stop there? Um, it was a sigh of relief. Uh, just being able to go up. Um, take the lead. Uh, it, we had ultimate confidence in our our defense that they would get it done, and um, we know once we once we give them a little bit of energy, because normally it's them giving us feeding us the energy. But if we're able to give them some, they're 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 holding up, bottling, bottling it in and riding with it. So um, that's what they did in the fourth. Aaron, going back to that uh, go ahead drive on that fourth and six play call, what were you thinking when that came in? Uh, Got to make a play. Uh, the time's now. Uh, you know. Forget everything else that's happened and be here in this present moment and make that play. What did you see on that play from Sam to Justin? Uh, Sam to Justin, uh, a great play, a great, a great ball. Uh, Justin's so good in contested catches or uh, coming down in tight windows. She knows how to work back down to the ball, um, which is a very underrated in this game. I feel like uh, even myself, a lot of receive myself and a lot of receivers. It, uh, don't work back to the ball, but you see him work back to the ball, and that's why you'll see him a ball that looks like it may supposed to be intercepted. Him coming up with it, or like, whoa, how did that happen? Um, but he's just has a full understanding of the game. Yeah, what is it about this offense where Jets doesn't mind if other people score? You know, he's not about the stats. You have a coach saying, hey, we're going to you, and then you show him redemption. What is it about this team that makes it different that way? Uh, we just got a locker room full of hungry, um, selfless guys, you know. Like you said, uh, it might not be my day today. It may not be the stats that you want, but uh, we know we still got to be there because we have other weapons. And hey, maybe I'm a decoy this game, or 
just get their eyes on me. But uh, at the end of the day, we got so many weapons, and uh, we feel like you just can't just key on one person. And if you do, then everybody else is going to go off. What was it like midway through the third quarter? You guys go three and out again, and you're hearing boos from the crowd here. Uh, I really didn't pay too much attention to it. I was kind of just locked in on what we needed to do, locked in on the game. Um, but I love our fans. You know, they're just probably a little anxious. But uh, we got it done, and I'm sure they're happy now. So what happened on the sideline, or what flipped after that moment? Uh, just just us communicating, hey, one play at a time. Uh, you know, we didn't have the first half that we wanted. Uh, even, uh, well, I think we came out the first drive we scored, huh? But after that. So we just uh, echo, hey, one play at a time, do the things that we know that we can do. And um, communication as well. Communication is big and protection, anything like that. So uh, all of us, all 11 be on the same page and whatever we get, we can figure it out and we'll be good. Front row seat for uh, Byron Murphy to get his fifth pick of the year, huh? I'm glad he got that one, especially against his former team. Uh, makes it even a little bit more special. And then uh, we needed the turnover as well. So uh, he gave us the ball in great field position as well. Uh, yeah, uh, just uh, just kind of getting in that tempo and uh, uh, just trying to get the defense a little bit off off schedule and uh, get them a little gas, uh, which they were. So uh, I feel like every time we're in that tempo and we're kind of moving the ball at a fast pace, uh, we move the ball very well. So uh, I always try to keep uh, implementing to the coaches and uh, to some of the players that uh, to continue to do the tempo and their pace, uh, I feel like it, it works very well for us. How much of the going and you had two or three, do or not, think there was any panic? Yeah, uh, you know, I, I, I've kind of to give me the ball a little bit. Uh, just uh, I've only had one, two, two targets, three targets. Uh, me double me too much, so I was able to kind of sit in those holes in the in the zone, and uh, Sam found me plenty of times. Justin, I was going to say you went the slow start. You got 99 yards, kind of <laughs> you know sneaking up in there. <laughs> I, I hate those games actually. Uh, uh, those that, that one yard, and you know it don't it don't count towards the hundred yard games that you have. So, uh, but you know as long as we get the dub, we're 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 uh, moving the ball at a, a very high pace. Uh, I'm fine with it. You know, it is what it is at the end of the day. Uh, I, I definitely try to get those 100 yards games, but uh, if I don't, it's not the end of the world. How did it feel to get more involved today? Uh, I felt great. Uh, you know, especially coming from last week, having only kept two two catches, and uh, now just you know uh, getting a little bit more you know involved into the game plan. But you know, every every week it's a it's a different scheme. You know, it's a different team that's that's kind of scheming up to to try to stop. Uh, try to stop me you know so uh every team is going to play a little bit differently today they didn't they didn't really you know play too much of double coverage and uh kind of allow me to you know sit in the holes and in, in the zone and uh, and just allow me to kind of kind of work in the hole so uh sam did a great job into you know trusting to, to throw that ball into those windows uh and for me to just go and make those plays so it, it was it definitely felt great today at, at halftime what do you do if you want to sell that you're open You know, I, it definitely some some plays that I was open a little bit in the first half uh, just didn't find me. So uh, just continue to just be myself, continue to uh, run the routes that I'm uh, coached to run, uh, and just getting open at the end of the day, letting Sam find me whenever he can, uh, and moving. The We're going to come back to you, and then redemption, he gets in there. What do you say about that whole situation, not only him, but this team that you can rely on someone like that? Yeah, uh, we always have, you know, trust and confidence in, in AJ uh, to, to come back and to bounce back in any type of way. Uh, we know AJ is not the type of guy to, to fumble and uh, to give the ball away and uh, you know he's a great back and he's uh, big for us. He's a big weapon for us. So uh, you can't somebody like that. You can't just shut them out. You can't just you know let them hang their head down and uh, feel like they they you know uh, did something bad for the team. Uh, we just got to keep going to them, uh, keep giving them that confidence to to go out there and still ball out and make plays. Uh, 
but we, we, we always know that A.J. is going to bounce back and uh, continue to be the player that he is. This team wasn't supposed to win 10 games. You won 10 and there's still five to go. I feel like there's still more to be proven out there? Uh, yeah, no. Uh, proven to everybody else, but in this locker room, we know what we have. You know, we know the potential that we have with this team, uh, the coaches, the players. Uh, everybody is dialed in to, to where we want to go. Uh, we're not really too much cared about the outside people and what everybody else thinking about us. Uh, that's not going to cause us to, to win any games and cause us to win a Super Bowl. So uh, we just got to be dialed in, uh, all of these guys that's in this locker room, uh, and just be ready to go. Of course, we're going to celebrate this victory today, uh, but tomorrow, you know, it's, it's back to work and back to uh, being 1-0 and for the week. Byron making... <laughs> yeah, I was pretty excited as well. Uh, just seeing the the coverage of the defense, and uh, uh, of course with the the, the route schemes, uh, I kind of figured that I, I was going to be open on that play. Uh, but it was just great execution from from everyone. Uh, great execution from Sam to to find me in that window and uh, to give me the ball for a first down. So uh, it's just every single play you just kind of. You got to think about the next play. You know, you, you make a play, you got to think about the next play. And uh, it, it's just countless times you have to do that, especially with this offense, with the weapons that we have. Um, the ball is not going to come to you every single play. So uh, you just got to kind of focus on the plays that you do have the, when the ball does come to you. Uh, and just like I always say, we're, we're working to, to want to know for the week. So it was great to get this one. Byron with another pick. He's got receiver hands, doesn't he? <laughs> he definitely be working on them hands. He definitely have a great hands for a DB. You know, uh, just him making those plays and getting us the ball uh, is tremendous for us. I and mean, we definitely will need that, especially in this, this late game stretch. Justin, has anything about Sam play the last two games down the stretch surprised you? Uh, no. Um, I mean, we kind of expect that from him. Uh, I mean, seeing that what he has been doing, you know, the beginning of the year, we kind of expect that now from him, uh, just just creating that extra uh, extra couple seconds to, to allow us to get open. And uh, that scramble drill, it, it definitely works out. You know, it does, those create even bigger plays. So um, just having him and, and just making extra plays downfield is very useful. Do you like blocking for him? <laughs> I'll block for anybody. I'll block for anybody that, that, that run the ball. And I'm, I'm never a selfish player. So I will always be in that, uh, in, in, in that we call it the war zone, uh, to, to blocking and, and doing whatever I got to do and, and making sure that uh, my guys are getting even more yards. So, uh, you, know, I, you know, of course, I want him to throw the ball more than, uh, than scrambling. But, you know, if he does scramble, uh, getting those yards and it, it's wonderful. Huh. I mean, to, to, end out, to end out the game with the interception like that, and uh, it, it feels great. You know, just uh, having our defense uh, come strong for us again, uh, like they always do, uh, just making play after play, you know, getting sacks, getting uh, strips, you know, just doing all that they can to, to get us the ball back. And um, we definitely, you know, need to give them some credit also because uh, that's a, a great offense. You know, they have a, a great quarterback in Kyler. Uh, and for them to, you know, stop them plenty of times and get three on the board instead of seven, uh, that was very big for us. I feel like we, oh, go ahead. you mentioned taking a play. Yeah, um, you know, those are the difficult times. You know, those are times where, uh, you know, you kind of want to, uh, you know, say something and you want to uh, react and emotionally. Uh, but you can't. You know that there's a long game. You know that uh, the ball is going to come to you eventually. Uh, and whenever that the ball does come to you, you got to make the most of it. You know, got to make the most of those opportunities. And uh, with this league, the opportunities are very slim. So I try to make the most of those opportunities when they come. Justin, I know you show up at the stadium, no matter who you're playing, and you know it's going to be a fight. And you, you know you're putting your title on the line, and that's that's all we're doing. And so it's it's a blast. But 10 and 2, and the, you know, look at the Lions, look at the Packers. I mean, th this is one heck of an NFC North. I don't know if you've ever been in a division that had going in December this kind of numbers. No, I don't think I have. You know, I mean, uh, the NFC North, we, you know, we got a lot of good teams in it, obviously, you know. Um, and Chicago has played well the last couple of weeks, too. So, I mean, um, you know, we, we're going to see all those guys again, and, um, you know, we're looking forward to it. It's going to be a dogfight in the NFC North for sure. What can you say about Aaron Jones, who had a tough start to? them back to you and then he came back and had redemption what does that say about him and this team that you can believe in each other yeah there's no flinch I mean you know everybody in this locker room you know you 
you got to go to the next play, no matter if it was good or bad, um, you know, and everybody in here just wants to win. So, um, you know, if you if you do something and, you know, somebody else picks you up, you're happy, you know what I mean? Like, everything about this locker room and everything about this team is winning, and so that's that's all we want to do. Don't care about individual stats, don't care about anything else. It's just um, to go out there and win, and, and you know, you're going to, you got to trust your teammates to be able to make a play if you, if you, go down and Aaron you know we all go up to him and uh, when something happens like that and you know he's he's one of our best players you know and just let him know that and let him know he's got to make a play for us later on in the game so um he's a dog and he'll be all right is there a conscious effort did you feel like there was a conscious effort to speed the pace up offensively in that second half and is that part of your work uh yeah i mean i think it definitely helped you know they were giving us a lot of pressure if we you know went into the huddle and so um, trying to disguise that kind of stuff and um, be able to go to the line quick and not let them sub and, and do their stuff and kind of get into their blitzes and stuff like that. So um, making them stay in their base coverages and, and try to attack them that way, I think that definitely helps. Um, KO does a great job with, you know, tempo, that kind of stuff. And, you know, we have our whole menu of, of things that we can get to, and it's basically our entire offense. So it's a, it's a lot of fun to be able to do that. How much of it is just trust in teammates when a defense has to make a stop? Offense has to make a fourth down conversion. The game's over. How much of it is just mutual trust? Because there's never really, there's no panic. No, not a, not by any means. And I think if you looked at, at everybody's face on the sideline, you would see that too. I mean, it's all cal cool, calm, and collective. Um, when the offense is on the sideline and the defense is out there, we know they're going to make a stop when we need it. And um, you know, when the, when we're out there and the defense is on the sideline, I'm sure you know they know that we're going to make a make a play and, and go down and do our thing. So um, you know, it's a lot of trust in this locker room. Um, a lot of trust that everybody's going to do their job because we've seen it before and we'll we'll continue to keep seeing it. Talk about the tight judgment coming through again, huh? I love it. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, we've been calling that one Josh Oliver's play, and then uh, <laughs> you know Johnny was able to score on it, so it was a lot of fun to to be able to see him do that. I mean, um, again, just another guy like Josh uh, does everything right, comes into the building, always has a great attitude, and, and to see him have a have get one is is a lot of fun. Ten and two, pretty sweet, huh? Yeah, it doesn't happen. I think this is only the second time in my career, so I'm, uh, you know it's it's a special team and it's a special group, and we're going to continue this ride. Did you talk about that? Is that uh, maybe why you don't make sort of key turnovers or mistakes down the stretch? Because you're not you're not playing any kind of frustration or desperation. Like, yeah, I mean, I th right. I mean, I'm sure there is. I mean, we don't really think about it, you know. I mean, we're just going out there and we know that somebody's going to make a play. It just depends on who it is. We have too many weapons on this team to, for somebody not to make a play. I mean, you know, we got AJ, we got, uh, you know, J.A., J.J., me, you know, all these guys on the on the team, Sam Sam is going to go make a play when he needs to. We got every, Nailer. Like, there's so many weapons on this team that um, you know you can't guard everybody, and so somebody's going to go make a play, and somebody's going to make something happen. So, I think you had a lot of family in the stands today, didn't you? I think ha half my elevator was Hawkinson. Yeah, I think I had about 20 people here, so it's uh, it's fun to fun to have those guys here. I mean, it's my second home game, and um, you know. First one without really a snap count, so it's 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 fun. So um, great to see all all the all my fam, my brothers, my you know my parents, friends. So it, it's it's fun to be able to be here. Thanks. Three timeouts, and let's say they go down there and get field goal range, and the game is over. And it's like our defense didn't finish it out. Um, so we didn't have that mentality. We're all like, no matter what the situation is, even though if it's one point, six points, or whatever it is, we got to handle our business. So um, I feel like that was what we just didn't care about what was going on. Just say, hey, look, play our ball. Go put it a little bit extra what you got into it, um, and it came to fruition. John, what was it like for you getting that play against Kyler in that last uh, series? You kind of yeah. getting held sometimes Man. today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't even say I get held no more because they just they, they, I think the refs get mad if I say I'm getting held. They're like, oh, no, you're not. But either way, man, um, it was just a great, crazy play, um, great series. I mean, I've been fighting this sickness all week. Oh, man, it's, it's it was great, man. It great, it's great to go out with a win, obviously, when you're putting everything into it and, you know, you're on your last breath and we need it. You know, on that last play, we, we got to be out there and, and got to go finish the game. So, um, hats off to Shaq. Shaq did his thing, man. And the DBs, everybody just continues to do their job all game and didn't get pressed or didn't get flustered. Um, we just did our job and, and, and it didn't work. Kind of Talk. Test, does that become when you're on the field that much and Kyler Murray makes you run around that much? Yeah, I was just talking to these guys about just, you know, the hard work in the offseason that, you know, I put in and, 
what you should be doing in the offseason for games like this. I feel like it's like I said before, your tongue and on the ground and after your workouts, I feel like you're not doing enough, especially with the guys on the quarterbacks um, that's in this league or what the league is going to, you know, um, all these mobile quarterbacks. So um, we already knew it going into it that he's going to be running around um, trying to make plays. He did a fairly good job of just standing in the pocket most times, just trying to make sure he didn't try to extend too much and create negative plays. But um, they couldn't do the conservative stuff forever. We know at the end of the game they had to go and try to score or get the field goal range. Play after the fumble, you mm-hmm. chase him down, but keep him in bounds. Yeah. I'm gonna be for real. Uh, I honestly just was running to him. I didn't, I didn't even know. Like honestly, I was like, if he would have ran out of bounds, I just want to show that I'm running my, my tail off to that football. And he he just so happened that he cut back. I said, like, oh, perfect. Like I I take that one. And the clock kept running. They had to burn one. But um, yeah, it was it was. Ain't gonna lie to y'all. It was tough. It was that was that was a that was a. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get some good sleep tonight for sure. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, appreciate y'all, man. Thank you. Guys, squeak out another one. Again, you still haven't played your best ball, but 10 and 2, uh, it was kind of tough out there. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. It was tough. You know, we started off slow, but like you said, we got it done. What does uh, Sam do differently in the past couple of games when he's under pressure that he still, it was a little slow in the first half, but then yeah. he kind of opened it up in the second? Yeah, it was, I seen no flinch from him, but I feel like when the pressure on, that's when we playing our best ball. The pressure was on us in that last two minutes. Defense got us the ball back, and we went down to score. You seem to be the guy, too, tight windows. I know that early on uh, Jets was saying, hey, if I have a tight window, you're now a tight window guy, too, kind of in the clutch. How does that feel? It felt good. You know, I just wait for my opportunity. When it come my way, I execute. You told me last week that you wouldn't, you know, I said, are you on a roll now? And you said you never run a roll because you don't know how they're going to cover you every game. Mm-hmm. That's them today, right? A lot of it, you, you guys have had short uh, uh, series and you didn't have right. any opportunities. Yeah, we didn't know. They did a good job on third down getting us off the field. But, you know, we came in halftime, seen what they were doing, got a good idea, and then went back out and did what we had to do. So your adjustments were good? Yeah, they was great. <laughs> Thoughts on the pass that Sam had for you, I think, in the second half where there was a defender in front of you that left up and, and Sam kind of put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, we ran that play in the first half. He didn't come to me, he didn't throw it to me, but it was kind of like the same way. And I felt like if he would have threw the ball how he did, it was going to be, you know, a good play. And it was just a good ball, good placement. Aaron talked about having, obviously, a rough game to start and then um, Coach having the confidence to continue to go back to him and then he gets in the end zone at the end. Can you just talk a little bit about that, continuing to believe in, in guys if they do have some struggles and then see it come full circle? Yeah, you, it's always tough when you start off slow, but I just salute him for not losing his confidence. And, you know, when he got his chance again, he got in there. So just salute to Aaron for, you know, being strong, being mentally tough. And that redemption when he did get in was key, right? Yeah, I bet it felt good. I bet it felt good. When, when it comes to this team being 10-2, and two, uh, even if it's just a one-point win, what have you guys learned about yourselves on the road, your, your three victories to come back home? No matter how the game going, no matter how it start, I feel like we just – everybody in here as a whole got the confidence to feel like we're going to win. So we never flinch no matter what's going on, and, you know, we just keep being successful. What did the defense show you today? I know that you guys have been saying it doesn't matter what we see on tape. They never bring the same thing because of all the weapons you have. Right. It was pretty much what you saw on tape, though, this week, wasn't it? Pretty, yeah, it was, yeah. but, like, they third down game plan. I didn't, we didn't think they was going to do what they did. I feel like they tried something one time. It was, they were successful, and they kept doing it. Not in the end. Not in the end. Uh, let's go, Mike. Well, what can you we'll, we'll change second half offensively? It looked like the tempo was, was better. You guys were doing some more quick hits. It looked like totally different offense, at least in terms of results in the second half. Yeah, like I said earlier, we, we came in at halftime. You know, we got a good look at what they was trying to do on third down and early downs, and then, you know, we, Sam did a good job executing. How about Byron Murphy Jr. getting his fifth pick of the year? Yeah, shout out him. And that was against his former team. I know he, he probably somewhere living it up. <laughs> fifth INT how does that feel it feels good you know coming in every single week putting the work in obviously I like I said had a couple of drops early in the year so now just you know coming in any ball in the air is mine that's the mindset going in the game uh, but I definitely got to go get more not satisfied yet but it feels definitely feels good especially to get one against that team I was going to say especially against Arizona yeah, the team you used to belong to yeah. right your hometown right? definitely my hometown a team you know I got drafted to I got guys over there I call my brother as well so just to go compete against them and then obviously make that play felt really good when you saw 
saw Aaron Jones had a rough beginning of the game mm-hmm. and then redemption to come back, give you guys mm-hmm. the lead. That juiced you guys up for the final plays at the end. It must Definitely. have. Definitely. You know, when he was coming off the field, we already told him, we got you. We're going to get the ball back. We got you. Keep your head up. And we knew, we knew, you know, that really doesn't happen with Aaron Jones. You know, he's not that type of guy. But we knew we were going to get his back, try to get the ball back for him. Obviously, he bounced back and come and look. He's making plays every single, you know, every time he gets the ball. So just sticking, it, uh, sticking with that mindset, just knowing, you know, we're going to get the ball back for you. And we got to as a defense. We got to get turnovers for the offense. Well, we know Kyler Murray is slippery. He's fast. He's quick with his feet. But you guys mm-hmm. found a way. What was different in the second half that, that you guys kind of forced him to make some mistakes there? You know, I kind of would say, obviously, you know, we did a great job this week of trying to keep him in the pocket. He made some plays getting out the pocket, trying to get the ball down the field. But I just think second half, you know, we kind of contained him a little bit better. Uh, obviously, knowing what he was trying to do, get out the pocket and throw the ball. So I just think overall, you just kind of, you know, got players that's, you know, seeing what's going on and you make adjustments at halftime.